time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-O-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this reaction video review movie started. y'all i watched the darlings movie that's on netflix now starring alia bot is that how you say name alia bot and what's the guy's name but but jay varma it's based around like domestic abuse violence so uh, you know right away i'm i'm invested i'm emotionally invested i mean you know how i i'm a sucker anyway like when it comes to something that tugs at the heart I, the tears are coming and i cried so much during this because it starts out like with love, you know, like puppy love. You you see them two together and, and he gets like a special job and, and you're like, oh, and then they're going to get married and you're like, oh, they're going to, you know, get married in, in the beginning of their life and start a family. And then I know that Aaliyah, she just got married and she's going to have a baby. So I'm like, oh, it's kind of like a, a little reflection of her own life. And then stuff happens. I mean, yeah, you can see where the guy in this has some problems. I mean, he's treated like terrible at at work. They treat him like, tr make fun of him. I mean, that would hit me hard too. But you don't go home and take it on uh, off on your wife. You don't go home and take it off on anyone. I, I you know, they have a, a, a little saying here, like people have a bad day at work and go home and kick the dog. Like, I mean, that here, that's like, oh my God, that what a terrible person kicking dog. Well, he's over here kicking his wife. He's doing stuff like, remember she had her hand out and he's doing that with the heel. When she got that heel to, to try to um be romantic for him and everything. That dress with the high heels and everything. And he's doing this thing and then got her, and then hit her finger with it. I myself watching this wanted to kill that guy. <laughs> I myself wanted to kill this guy. I was like, what is she staying with him? I never understood it. I, I haven't. I'm not, don't have the kind of personality that forgives. <laughs> I don't. I don't have the personality that forgives. So if like someone did that to me, it'd be one time and I'd probably be in jail because like they have to go to sleep sometime and, and they're gonna she well I don't want to spoil the end right now we'll, we'll do that later but the ending which she was wanting to plan to do that ain't nothing compared to what I was gonna be doing after one time the movie shows like man, the manipulation that happens in these relationships so I mean because all she wanted like she was like talk about she just wants to have a baby and have a family and she thinks having a baby you know is gonna change things for them and 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 that was what gonna bring them together. And and remember, she was brought to the police office and they was gonna arrest them. First of all, I didn't know they have that kind of thing in India. Like, that ain't here. I mean, you see women having to go into hiding and still the man's set free and, and you know, goes after it. I mean, there's so many cases here of the domestic abuse that you're just like, that's a rule in India? Like, they're gonna put them in jail two years just if you tell them they're gonna have, I'm like, one little witness that ain't never happening here <laughs> i mean it should well, she goes and talks to him and that's when he just starts doing his manipulation stuff right he starts oh we're gonna have a baby he knew right where to go he knew right where to to to, to strike her in the gut strike her in the heart make her change her mind about all the abuse she took oh you're gonna have a baby and he's gonna change his ways he said right i'm gonna change my mind i'm gonna have a baby they always at once a man gonna hit a woman. You never trust them. Never trust them because I'll hit her again. What does he? Was that not the worst part? See, she's so happy. Pregnant. You know, gonna have this baby. It's all she ever wanted and stuff. And he gets mad and gonna throw her down the steps. Gonna throw her down the steps to lose her baby. Right there, I was like, "Kill him!" I, I mean, it's probably not the first time I said it during this, but that was like the most that sealed the deal. I wanted to really get out of my seat uh, and go harm this person. Like I was, ah, uh, that was just gut wrenching. Like I, I just, it just enraged me 
but also like broke my heart at the same time if that's even possible i have seen like this movie on on tweet trending on twitter and, and ali boycott boycott and i'm gonna tell y'all I know, I know y'all will be first to boycott over there some movies. <laughs> y'all are the first. I've seen every movie that's coming out in theaters these days. Each one has like a, a boycott hashtag with it. <laughs> it does. I mean, that's, you're free to boycott uh, anything you want. That's so why I wasn't surprised this one had a boycott hashtag. But then I was like, well, what they boycott for? And they were like, because it shows domestic abuse on men. I, I mean, granted. We're in different cultures here, like different things go on. Like I just said, they don't have these rules for if a woman says, you know, domestic violence, that they're gonna lock them right up two years in jail. We don't have that over here. So hearing like this whole boycott because of domestic abuse against men, I mean, I'm sure there's a cases, maybe one or two here that you might've heard, but that just ain't a thing. <laughs> that ain't a thing. That might get me a boycott. Now I'm gonna, now Crazy Amanda is react's gonna have a boycott hashtag because of that remark. But it's true. It's like probably our differences in the culture maybe. Like that's what I'm attributing it to because I have never heard about it before. You know, I, that's what I said. You hear about it, but if you hear about it, it's like a one case thing that people are like, oh, this actually happened. Like one case out of, you know, a million that, of, of cases against women domestic abuse. Watching this movie, I'm rooting for her. Like, I'm like, why are they trying to boycott him? Did you not just see everything that this man did to her? Did you not see everything this man did? And then he deserves to be paid. Like, she was nice on him. <laughs> if she, all she gonna do is drug him and hit him in the head with a pan and, and do on her fingers like, like he did her. He deserves a lot more than that. You don't want spoilers on this. You better not watch the end because I'm going to talk about the There's end. There's movies like this that happen. Not even with the husband. Y'all ever heard of 9 to 5 with Dolly Parton? They didn't like the way the boss was treating him. So they tied him up and taught him a lesson. <laughs> That's what this kind of reminded me of. That movie uh, 9 to 5. Working 9 to 5. You never heard that movie with Dolly Parton. And they didn't like the boss. He was a jerk. He was, oh, he was you know, sexually harassing him, doing all kind of stuff. So they're like, oh, we're going to pay him back. And they kidnapped him just like that, like drugged him, had him tied up. That's what this reminded me of. Yeah. doing half the bad stuff that he did to her. Having her land up in the hospital, losing her baby because he threw her down the stairs. Not even half the stuff. But then they plotted. I was like, what are they going to do with him? They, the mom was in on it. <laughs> the mom was in on it. They had a driver there to help. And then, then you woke up and he's on the train tracks. I, I was like, oh, here comes the train. He's on the train tracks. And then there's Aaliyah. I forgot her name in the movie. She's going to change her mind. See, this is where I was like, oh, don't do it, Aaliyah. Don't do it. He did all that stuff to you. Remember, I was like on the side to, to leave him on the tracks. I was. Never going to leave you alone. He's going to. That's what happens. You hear Casey here. He's going to never leave you alone. He's going to find you wherever you're at and come after you probably kill you one day like because that's the stories that happen here and she's over there changing her mind which in the end i mean you learn because what you're like this is gonna rest on her soul she ain't gonna go down like she murdered somebody stooping to his level being as bad as he is because you know he would kill her throwing her down the stairs killing their, their baby killing their baby throwing them down the stairs but she's like, I'm going to be better than this. I'm not going to have this hanging on my soul. So she releases him from the train. And that's why I think the ending is like, oh, it, it like hits you because what well, he still gets hit by the train. And that's where I, I'm like, oh, karma took over. <laughs> right? Karma took over. I like the lesson at the end, you know. <laughs> I did. That karma's going to get you. You're going to do bad stuff even if she didn't kill him, even if they didn't come after him. Karma's going to get you and that's what happened. Anyway, I like this movie. I liked it. Might be difference in culture if, when people didn't because of the whole domestic abuse thing. I'm I'm not sure. It reminded me of other like Hollywood movies that I mentioned, you know, uh, of things that happened. Uh, it, it brought you on a roller coaster of emotions. I was... I was, you know, at the beginning, oh, this is a love story. And then all the abuse started. And then did she lose the baby? So you're like, oh, it ripped it ripped my guts out. I just felt like sick to my stomach. 
And then at the end, how she gonna get him back? And I was cheering. I was. I was like, get him. He's a terrible person. Get him. And then how karma does get him at the end. I thought it could use like a little more of like why he was the way he was. I mean, they showed, you know, at work how mean they were to him. But I mean, that's what's gonna drive you over the edge. Is that it? Just you get made fun of at work and treated a little bad? You know, or I guess a lot bad. They treat him like a dog, but still, like you that weak minded <laughs> that you gotta you know go through that at work and then come home and abuse your wife. I would though like to see a little bit more of that story because I'm like that just that just can't be it. It's gonna make you that way. Maybe you was raised like that. Maybe your father treated your mom like that. There has to be more reasons to it. I just would have liked to have seen that, but for me, it got the point across. You're going to hit a woman? You better expect to be hit by a train. <laughs> That's the point. That's the media. All right, y'all. Let me know what you think. If you saw it, comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah.